How to troubleshoot issues related to ticket creation automation in Freshdesk. Automations in Freshdesk are business rules that run immediately after a ticket is created or updated and perform actions based on specified conditions. Ticket creation automations run on every ticket as soon as it is created in your help desk. Here are a few common causes that lead to ticket creation automations not executing as expected. Incorrect rule execution type is selected. Incorrect option is selected for rule matching condition. Incorrect conditional operators are used while defining ticket properties conditions. Rule is not enabled. This video will show you how to troubleshoot issues caused by these common mistakes through an example automation rule. First, let's check if you selected the correct rule execution type for your automation rule. Navigate to admin. Under workflows, select automation. Under the ticket creation tab, Check for the rule execution type beside the gear icon. By default, the rules are set to execute based on the first matching rule in Freshdesk. If you choose the executing first matching rules option, you need to reorder the rules so that only the first matching rule will be executed. The rest of the automations after this rule will not be executed. This option is recommended if you have straightforward workflows. Instead, if you choose the executing all matching rules option, Every matching automation will be executed in the order listed under the Ticket Creation tab. Please ensure that you have selected the appropriate rule execution type when ordering your rules. This is critical when configuring multiple complex automations based on your business use case. Now, let's check if you have selected the correct rule matching condition. Navigate to Admin. Under Workflows, select Automation. Under the Ticket Creation tab, Click on the automation rule you wish to debug. Now, scroll down to the On Tickets with These Properties section and check the option you have selected here. If you have set the rule condition to execute when they match any of the below conditions, the rule will look for one of the conditions to match with the new incoming ticket. However, if you have set the rule condition to execute to match all of the below conditions, the rule will execute only when all the conditions match with the new incoming ticket. For example, let us consider an automation rule to automatically assign tickets from a specific email says store support at mns.com with a specific subject to the finance group. You must choose the match all of the below condition. Only then, the rule will assign the newly created tickets to the group finance when both the condition on the two email and subject matches with the ticket. You can now select the relevant option and click on save based on these inputs. The next step is to check for incorrect conditional operators used to define conditions under the On Tickets with These Properties section of your automation rule. Here is how you can fix it. In your automation rule, check for conditional operators like is, contains, and has any of these used to define the trigger condition. That is, conditional operator checks for an exact match case and the automation rule will execute if the particular match is present anywhere in the ticket. The contains conditional operator checks for multiple match cases. The automation rule will execute if the values are present anywhere in the ticket description, including the links of the images shared over the ticket. That has any of these words, conditional operator two checks for multiple match cases. However, the automation rule will execute only for the defined keywords, excluding any image links. You can now check if you have selected the relevant option, make changes to the values and click save. Lastly, Check if your automation rule is enabled or disabled. In a few rare scenarios, a different admin or agent may have disabled your automation rule. Here's how you can verify if your automation rule is intact or if anyone else has modified it. Navigate to Admin. Under Workflows, select Automations. Under the Ticket Creation tab, make sure that the toggle button next to your automation rule is turned on. Also, Check for the last modified time and modified user details below your automation rule. If you wish to see the changes made to your rule, click on the username next to Buy option. The audit log page will display all the details of the changes made to your rule. Please note that this feature is available in Pro or Enterprise plans only. When you create a rule, if you select the Save option instead of Save and Enable, your rule will still be in the draft stage. In such cases, you can click on the toggle button next to your rule to enable it. And that's how you can troubleshoot common issues related to ticket creation automation in Freshdesk. If you need further assistance, 
please reach out to support at freshdisk.com.